My name is Bill Lee. I am one of the instructors at DubSpot in New York City. I teach the Logic course alongside Matt Shatek, as well as the Mixing Mastering course alongside Danny Wyatt, who is the course curriculum designer. Today we're going to take a look at one of the new features in Logic Pro X called Track Stacks, and particularly how it can help you out in creating a nice, simple mixing workflow. The song we're going to be using today is by a friend of mine named Shiji out of Lagos, Nigeria. His sound incorporates that rich African tradition, and you can hear that in all the vocals and percussion. Let's take a quick listen. It seems like a lifetime ago when I stormed out your door. As you can see with this mix, I've got a lot of tracks going on here, somewhere up in the around 95. But I don't need to have all of these tracks visible when I'm mixing. And workflow is very, very important. You want to keep this as neat and simple as possible. So one of the things I'm going to do right away is I've got a bunch of tracks down here that were leftover tracks, extra tracks, scratch vocals, etc. And I'm just going to hide them to just get them completely out of view, out of mind. Um, and of the tracks that I'm left with, I'm going to make sure that I've got them all labeled properly. Um, I've colored the different um, sections of instruments together. I've got percussion here, congas were there. Um, I've got some guitars, keyboards, background vocals, so I can really quickly and easily see all of my different tracks without having to, you know, spend any time searching for anything. Um, so labeling, coloring, hiding, all very important. One of the things, uh, and as well as reorganizing, one of the things that uh, Apple gave us the ability to do was to finally select multiple tracks and then reorder them all together so you can put them wherever you want. So now let's see how track stacks can kind of help us out in this workflow as well. Starting out with um, percussion. Take a look at our percussion. I've got about seven or eight tracks of percussion. Panderos, shakaras, woodblocks, tambourines, shakers. Um, they sound like this. I'm not going to do a lot of individual processing on those tracks. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of pan, maybe a touch of EQ and compression, but not much else individually on those tracks. So what I'd like to do is group them together, and this is where track stacks can help us out. All we need to do to create a track stack is select all of the tracks that you want to be inside of that track stack, control click, and in the menu, you'll see down there towards the middle, Create Track Stack. The next thing we're going to see is we have a couple options for creating track stacks. We can make a summing stack or a folder stack. What I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to make a summing stack. A summing stack, now what it's done is done two things. A summing stack has now placed all of those together under one master track that I can open or close to see all of my individual tracks or hide them. Let me go and rename that. And not only has it, you know, hidden them together so, uh, so I don't have to see all the individual tracks, but if I look at any of the individual tracks, if I look at the individual tracks, Instead of going out of the stereo output, now all of those individual instruments are now going out of bus 14. Bus 14 is actually going into this master track here, which is the master percussion stack. And I also have a complete channel strip set here where I can have sends, I can have plugins as well. Um, so it's basically summed them together and given me an aux track. This is something that I had to do manually before. Very easy. Let's do this one more time. For instance, I've got lots of background vocals here, about 14 tracks of background vocals. 
and each of them is going out of stereo out. I'll do a little bit of individual processing. For instance, right now I've got a little touch of pitch correction in each of those just to clean the pitch up slightly. But I'm going to select all 14 of those tracks, control click, and create a track stack. I'm going to make a summing stack again because I'll probably do some processing of the entire stereo blend together. And now let's rename this background box stack. And now I don't need to see all of those backgrounds. That just gives me 14 less tracks to look at when I'm trying to work, which is really nice. Um, easier on the eyes, easier on the brain. And then when I want to go and compress or EQ the full sum of them, I can just go straight to the master uh, stack. That's one type. Let's like, take a look at another as I now have the ability to zoom a little bit further into my track because I've got fewer tracks to look at. For instance, I've got a few keyboards here. I've got three lines of a Moog Voyager keyboard. We recorded those Moog uh, Voyager lines individually because it's a monophonic synthesizer and we wanted it to play some chords. Now, they sound fine, and I really don't think I need to do anything. There's not much you can do to make a Moog Voyager sound that much better. But I don't want to see these three tracks here. I'd rather just see one and only deal with one actual track. So let's create a track stack. And instead I'm going of using a summing stack, I'm going to use a folder stack. And a folder stack is basically the same as a summing stack, except it doesn't give us the channel strip stuff that we had before. It's just basically a mute button, a solo button, and a fader. And all of those, by the way, are automatable, including all of the things on the channel strip instrument of the master track of a track stack. So this is now my Moog stack. Um, and one last time, for instance, I've got three tracks of conga here. We recorded the same one conga player using three microphones, two close up and one a little bit farther away. I don't want to see three tracks. I'll just go and create a track stack and I'll create use a folder stack and just call this conga. And now this looks way more manageable than it did before. Um, I might go one step further and I'll just take all of my drums and create a track stack. Summing stack for this one because I'll probably do a little overall compression on the entire drum kit. And now I'm really ready to start my mix. Much, much easier to manage. You might have a few questions on what you can and can't do with track stacks. First of all, you can automate. We've seen that. That's very useful. Um, what if I started out with a folder stack that I wanted to be a summing stack? Pretty easy. Just control click on one of those tracks and we can flatten it. That's basically going to get rid of the stack itself and you can start fresh again and then make it into a uh, a different type of stack. We'll make it into a summing stack this time. Can I take stuff out of a stack? Absolutely. If I want to take the ambient track out of this conga stack, all we need to do is just move it down and reorder it to someplace else. What if I want to add something into a stack? It's the same thing. Just drag it up right in and then it'll become part of that stack. Pretty easy. So you can see, track stacks can help keep your tracks organized and manageable. You can even do a little bit of editing and automation as well. I hope this has been helpful. And make sure with your mixing, you incorporate track stacks that, are, that you'll find in Logic Pro 10. Look out for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.
Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.